what's up guys I just wanted to do a little video explaining why I quit smoking weed why I never will smoke weed again if I ever decide I want to I'll take edibles uh, and I also quit smoking cigarettes um, so like a, about about a month or two ago uh, actually let me let me start a little little further back so um, I had a roommate that I lived with that smoked weed almost on the daily and uh, before that I didn't smoke weed at all but you know as soon as I moved in I picked up the habit you know like kind of happens you're just like hey fuck it let's do it <laughs> but yeah so I that was about a year and three months ago that I moved in with him so for about a year and three months I've been smoking weed more often than not and I uh You know, I've made attempts to quit. Didn't really work out. There was a time where I quit for about two months, but I replaced the weed habit with cigarettes and sometimes alcohol. So all in all, I, I didn't really do anything for myself. I just replaced a bad habit with another bad habit. And, um, you know, the... Like I was saying a few minutes ago, about two months ago, I was at work. I was working at Home Depot, <laughs> and uh, do, 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 a little theme song. Shit always gets me. But anyways, uh, my friend, he had one of these little pods, these little round pods. It was like, it wasn't a pop. I can't remember what brand it was. Dude, I swear those things are toxic, man. Like, absolutely toxic. Because I hit, I was, I hit it, you know, like he was like, yeah, you can hold this for the day. And by the end of the day, dude, I just felt like I could not breathe. And uh, that kind of stuck with me. Like I just felt like this slight shortness of breath for a while. Uh, I was also hitting my friends Delta 8 pins at work, uh, smoking weed, you know, in my car. And eventually I just started feeling short of breath and you know that was one of the things and we'll get back to that but another thing was now okay so I haven't smoked weed in over a week now and I haven't smoked cigarettes in about a week. I haven't drank any alcohol, and I'm done with all of that. I just want to be high on life, and let me tell you why. Because what I noticed uh, about smoking weed for myself, it really killed my drive for life. It made me wonder where the real me had went. You know, because I'm a very driven person towards my goals, towards the things I want, and I'm actually a very social person, and I found that weed kind of made me antisocial, just want to like sit, play video games, uh, eat, if even, you know, sometimes weed took away my appetite. Uh, be paranoid about shit I think about going out in public and just be like oh, I don't know that sounds like a lot of work right now and then I'd end up just not doing shit and even at work like I went into it with a really good attitude and I didn't smoke weed at work I, I smoked weed in the car after work but I would not smoke um work and then all of a sudden I made the decision like hey fuck it my friends I got this they got this Delta this Delta 8 pen like 
why not? But what ended up happening was I started having a really bad attitude at work. And I, I can't completely blame that on weed. Like some of the people who worked around me had a bad attitude. Uh, but funny enough, I noticed that one of my friends who I smoked with, when I quit smoking, he got kind of annoyed. Like some people, they actually really don't want, when people smoke weed, they actually don't not all of them, but some of them, when they don't, when you don't smoke weed with them, they don't really want anything to do with you anymore. It's kind of sad. It's like, okay, well, if you don't fuck with me for my personality, then I don't need you in my life. And that's just how I feel. Um, but yeah, like all in all, I just really noticed a lack of drive and passion for life. Uh, and maybe not like, like a complete lack, but I noticed that I wasn't 100% there. I wasn't pushing myself to my full potential like I knew I could be. And for so long, it didn't felt right. It was always a thought in the back of my mind. But then one day it just hit me, you know, like, I used to be more confident. I can be more confident. Uh, I used to be more driven and I can be more driven. I used to be bigger. I used to lift more weights in the gym. I don't do that anymore. I don't even eat as much so I just decided like I'm done you know like like weed's cool in the short term you know you get to get high and maybe have like a mild psychedelic experience uh, like yeah life's all good I don't gotta stress so much I don't gotta worry I can just chill and feel good and I mean that's cool like for me personally that's cool like maybe every now and then like every few months or so but the problem for me is that can turn into all the time or every day. And, you know, you don't get like a direct hangover from weed. But what I've noticed is after I smoke weed for like a few days after, maybe like two or three days, I just feel a lack of motivation. Like, I remember this time specifically I went and smoked weed with my friends about two years ago, and then I went to the gym the next day, and literally, uh, I was used to squatting, I think it was 185 for like four sets of eight to 12, and by the second set, I was like, dude, fuck this shit, oh my god, this is so hard, when normally I just go in there and fucking beast mode that shit, it's not a problem, so, you know, like, I really just wanted to share this experience and this, like what I've found personally. I don't think that weed is a bad thing. I just think that uh, it's got it, its pros and cons like everything. And uh, you know, it's, it's just not for me. It's not for some people, but I mean, if, if I'm being completely and 100% honest here though, I do think that you know, weed will slow you down. I do think that it will kill your drive, not completely, but for the most part, your, your drive and your motivation for life. And I just, I don't see it as a necessary thing. You know, like it's, it's crazy because so many people nowadays smoke weed and you gotta think like, if this amount of people are smoking weed consistently, what is that what is that doing on an aggregate scale? You know, like maybe it isn't that bad. But you know, just something to think about. Um and also uh on the topic of cigarettes, I wanted to make this video mainly about quitting weed, but Quitting cigarettes, like, I think that definitely contributed to, like, the shortness of breath, too. And what I've noticed about cigarettes, since they're, like, a stimulant, I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but for me, when I smoke cigarettes, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll say anything, I'll do anything, and I, I know it's just, like, a, a cigarette, but it's, like, it stimulates my mind to where I can think faster. 
but I want to be able to do that naturally, you know, like, I don't want to rely on anything to make me more than I already am, because I thought about this once. I used to have this manager, uh, I worked at Wendy's a long time ago, uh, he was a cool ass dude, but he drunk so much caffeine that if this dude did not have caffeine, he could not work at the scale that he does. Like he was just moving so fast on a regular basis and I thought, wow, he probably got to that position, you know, in relying on caffeine and relying on a drug. And now that he's here, he doesn't know how to function without it. So to me, that relates like as a musician, I don't want to be on stage relying on cigarettes and alcohol, destroying my lungs and my liver just to have the the oomph that I need on stage, the, uh, the extra courage, you know, like I just want to hype myself up naturally. And honestly, I can do that because I've done it many times before, but it's like, you know, I go to these shows, I go to like artist showcases and I see other artists, you know, they'll smoke a blunt before they go on stage or they'll get fucking just faded, man, I'm talking schmated, but, and then they'll get on stage, and they'll be like, like, dude, nobody wants to see you like that, that's not cool, honestly, like, bring the energy, bring the energy, bro, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, if anybody out there is struggling with any kind of addiction, uh, I hope this helps. I hope to provide some inspiration. I hope to provide some uh, shared wisdom from what I've learned. And I, I'll post an update video. You know, I like, that way I can hold myself accountable. That's why I wanna have this level of transparency because if you don't, then you might fall back. But truthfully, I don't even feel like I, I need it. I just wanna do it to help other people and to share my experience, but I don't feel like I need it because I know in my heart that I've learned that that's just not for me. That's not what I want to do anymore. So, and, uh, oh, also I'm going to start making more videos. I'm going to post on Instagram and YouTube just about, you know, life, philosophy, uh, spirituality, masculinity, um, music, just different topics like that. But all right, I appreciate you guys. And if you watch till the end, you are the best. Uh, if you're seeing this on, well, YouTube or Instagram, I guess, uh, drop me a like for the algorithm so we can get this to more people. Uh, maybe more people need to see this. Maybe this message can reach someone it was meant to reach. But yeah, I really appreciate all of you. Thank you, and y'all have a blessed day.